Greetings and welcome back to Castle Goat. In the last episode, we did a bit more work on our pasture area. We've done the sun shafts for the alpaca and the yak pastures. We even worked on a bit of a path with some trees, some decorative trees planted around it. What's more, we also finished two of our military quarters. So Lizzie and Sir Pranty now have bedrooms. These will only get better with time, especially as our stonemasons get better at making statues. And in this episode, we're going to be continuing to work on our barracks, as well as trying to flesh out some more of the architectural areas in the fort. We are even going to look at the possibility of setting up or at least preparing the groundwork for some personal quarters for our non-military gnomes so let's rejoin with our fort and see how things are going right well it's about time that i actually designated some more area for collecting is this trophies what do you collect do you collect all body parts because i really need to get more of these things in perhaps i should make some of that actually specifically collect bodies though uh, I don't want to put it right in front of the stairs, and yet I'm running out of room. Uh, actually, we could make a quick stockpile up here, just to get the bodies in and out of the way. Yeah, let's do that. Corpses. I could stick it in with the uh, livestock, only I don't know where most of these corpses have been, other than on the end of our swords, and I would rather not have them uh, nibbling on potentially poisonous stuff, especially since we're probably going to be nibbling on them in the uh, not-too-distant future. Ooh, actually, let's get you down here. Let's uh, get... where are you? Poisonous ancients. Yeah, let's get you back on training. I don't want anyone sneaking into the place. Now, how's things going over here? I think we're actually not doing too bad for armor. I'll have to do two bronze corn, that's two bronze boots. Ooh, really? Oh, don't tell me. Have we actually got three sets of armor? That would be rather awesome. Six, 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 six. Yes, we do. It appears that we have finally got all of the bronze armor we needed. Oh, happy days. Right, Ajsta, where are you? It is time for you to join your fellows, your battle brothers and battle sisters in the army. Uh, I know, I know, it's a teary moment. You've been waiting for this for oh so long. Now then, where is the Poisonous Ancients? Poisonous Ancients are there. Um, Lizzie, I'm going to move you down. Hatchso is going to take that spot. Now, I know, I know, you've been in the military longer. I've completely understand this. For the time being, Ajso will be under the shield bit. Actually, no, we're going to go ahead and make a whole new position for you. Uh, let's find you. We want a commander. Commander! Perk! Where are you? Where are you, Commander Perk? The Commander Perk. Target takes increased damage from other squad members when no helmet is equipped. Uniform. All right, we're going to have to make the uniform as well. Damn it. All these things. All right, Tower Shield currently has all of this. Wooden shields. We're going to need something else. Um, guard Captain. All right, no helmet for you. However, you will have a breastplate of, well, pretty much any. Pauldrons, greaves, gauntlets, and boots. In your left hand, you will wield a shield so that the formation's perk is upheld. Uh, make that a wooden shield for now. Where are you, wooden shields? Is that down there somewhere? Have I missed it? I think I have. Ah, there we are. And in the right hand, I would like you to wield a stone sword, which I am about to make for you. Actually, no. Make it a stone hammer. For now, we'll actually make you a bronze hammer shortly. How much does it take to make a bronze hammer? Uh, hammerhead requires five bars. Oof. That is actually quite a lot. It is genuinely quite a lot. Nevertheless, we're going to set it up. So, uh, bronze hammerhead followed by a bronze hammer. Uh, birch haft will be fine. There we go. 
And as soon as we've got that, you will be equipped accordingly. Go and equip yourself and join your squad mates. Why? What are you wearing, Adso? You've only got one bronze boot. I... I fear that you are meant to be wearing more than one. Uh, I'm absolutely certain that I didn't miscount that. But let me double check. No, six boots. Six bronze boots. There are six feet amongst you all. Surely, there you go. That's right. Go grab that bronze boot, you fool. I don't want you to lose your foot. That would be atrocious. What? What are you... Uh... I... Lizzie, Lizzie, calm down. Lizzie, come on now. No, Lizzie. Lizzie. Don't be bad. I also forgot to uh, fully set you up, didn't I? Yes. I need... Where are you? Commander to have... Guard captain uniform. Pursue lost targets. Uh, retreat of bleeding. Retreat to equip uniform. Retreat to... Well, that doesn't really matter. Uh, well, I don't need to give you assist squad leader. You will be the squad leader. So, yeah. Perk should already be set. Yeah, commander. Okay. Right. In the formations now, the garrison formation, the top slot will be the commander slot. So that should mean... Poisonous Ancients Commander is Adjso. Now, to... Let's just check their skills so that uh, people don't feel put out. Because Adjso actually had very, very good soldiering still skills, from what I recall. He had Dodge at 16, Armor at 20, Shield at 10, Hammer at 44. Wow. My lord, you guys have been getting good at walloping things. I imagine everyone's got similar skills. Dear lord, it's just kind of crazy. Now, uh, let's see. If we go back and check on Lizzie, what are Lizzie's skills like these days? 44 in dodge, 18 in armor, 53 in shield. There is no doubt that you're going to be the better person to have the tower shield. My lord. Look at those stats. All in the hundreds. What were Adjstos those like? Hmm. Curiosity is 93. No, I'm not so sure about that. The commander needs to be curious. What were Lizzie's kills? Seven goblins, one, hun one honey badger. Well done. Now, Sir Prancy, what are your skills like? 53 shield, 34 dodge, and 16 armor. Kills 11 goblins. And again, very high stats. 99 in curiosity. But uh, that should be enough for you guys to get out there and actually start fighting. Now, hopefully, we've got another bed that I can build for you. Have we got the other bed made yet? Four plus a bed? Damn it! Well, hopefully, we have the statues, at least. Statues? Yes. Two bauxite statues. Let's get you built there and there. Now, the commander's room is going to have two granite statues. So, let's get those going. Two granite statues, please. Please make these awesome. It's only fitting that the commander have an awesome statue there. Now, as for the beds, uh, we're waiting on the mattresses, I imagine. Are we just lacking? No, we're lacking wool. Oh, damn. Okay. That's just going to come with time, unfortunately. Nothing we can do to hurry that one up. However, we now have the first of our rooms, and as soon as this one's done, I'm going to uh, hand them out. However, I do need to make... Wait, oh, good. You haven't, uh, just haven't put your helmet on. Right, can you make me an extra wooden shield, please? Uh, where are the wooden shields? Are we keeping four? Right, keep five instead. There we go. And that should have a shield shortly. I'm afraid the commander is going to be without a bedroom for a little while, but then again, you know, you are you are new, so that's just the way it's going to be. I'm sorry about that, but, uh, oh, look, all of our plants have uh, blossomed. We now have fruit that we can go gather. That's very nice. We have a lot of corpses. We have been slaying many, many mats over the years, over, or over the days, rather. Right, okay, let us designate these areas. The first personal quarters in Castlecote, go to the military. 
This one will be Lizzie's. It's worth 724. I hope you get very good night's sleep in there, Lizzie. And this one will be Sir Prancy's. Where are you, Sir Prancy? Well done, both of you. 710. Oh, really? This one's got... Uh... Oh. Lizzie's got the better room. That has got nothing to do with anything. I hope you understand. I, I didn't plan this. You can't hold me accountable for it. It's uh, whoever made those statues, probably. Let's check out this. Um, no, that's not what I want. A bauxite statue. A hundred. What about this one? No, no. Hmm. Okay, what about the beds? Alzen Dwarf, a hundred. And this one? 76. See? Ah, uh, Elzendorf didn't put as much effort into that bed, Sir Prancy. You have him to blame, not me. Now, how... Oh, damn it, have we not really not started replanting yet? Oh no, we've replanted most of the fields down here. What about these ones, then? No? Hmm. And now that Agstow is out of the military, that's only going to get worse. This is certainly worrying. This is certainly worrying. I need those fields planted. In fact, I need them planted so badly. I'm going to reassign some people just for a short time. Last Tiger, you're going to help me get those fields planted. Also, Alzen Dwarf, as punishment for making a crap bed, you are also going to work in the fields. No, no, no use complaining about it now. You brought this on yourself. Also, we'll have Pato. And... I think that's all we really need to do. Yeah, let's leave it like that. Who's that for McJester? Ah, there he is, mining. Okay. Right. Dapper McJester, you're also going to join me in the fields, because you're actually pretty fast. So, let's see if we can get these fields planted because we really really do need them planted my lord no no one coming really very important jobs you know damn it well, well there's nothing much i can do right i am going to pause the recording here and i shall return you when something interesting has occurred perhaps uh ash will get walloped by a shield and uh, knocked out and then someone will Nick his position. I'm not sure. I don't think that'll really happen. You're probably safer with the helmet anyway. Alex Slayer has returned from Love Slave. What? Uh. Holy crap! He has literally dropped everything on the floor. Damn you, Alex Slayer! And he's dropped the Goblin Skull helmet. Really? Did they not want to buy it? Did you manage to, like, nick it or something? Ah, look at it. It's on the way out there. Uh, I also realized why the things weren't getting planted is because the mushroom fields were taking far too high a priority. And as much as I love the idea of having mushroom tea, we've got enough of the mushrooms right now. Our problem is not having enough wheat. So I've uh, flipped the priorities around. <sighs> Alex Slayer, that is going to cause a huge, huge burden for us. You do realize this, yes? You little git, you. Well, hopefully everyone can get out there and bring that in, but I'm a little bit concerned, to say the least. That is going to be quite the problem. Uh, actually, I'm also going to replace this tile. I think that will uh, finish the aesthetic. Where are you? Engraved tile. Marble. It's up there. But that is going to be... A very, very big issue for us for quite some time, I fancy. <sighs> Damn it. I'm not sure how to fix it either. Uh, people are just going to be marching outside, and there's not a lot that I can do to stop them right now. So please, please don't be angry music. Phew. Okay. Only thing I can think of to do is to make a huge stockpile, but... Uh, problem with that is I don't have enough room. Right, we need to cut down some trees. Let's get that going. Fell trees, we want some orange wood. So chop down this, please. 
That should give us enough to finish up those crates, and maybe that'll help a little bit. In the meanwhile, however, what other kinds of planks have we got in abundance? Let's make another four. Right, okay. Uh, we'll stick those down here. Maybe that will help a little tiny bit, but I doubt it. Uh, pop those over there. I know, that, that huge stockpile is just a, a monstrosity. And I will be getting that fixed sooner or later, but... Damn it, Alex has made quite a bit of a problem for us. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. Guys, we need you out there right now. Goblins are attacking. So, poisonous ancients, get out there. We need the copper alarm bell rang. We need everyone inside. Uh, also, we need them to have their goblin slaying uniform on. Alright, let's get everyone in here. Watch fortifications, gory knitters, acing shelters of camp, cloaked baths, and finally the boned knife of martyr. Let's get you all inside. Who's outside right now? Shelab, isn't it? Ah, damn it! Don't let Shelab get caught! Run, Shelab! Flee! Not away from them, though. You need to flee towards them for a moment. Oh, my God, there's an ogre as well. Flee towards them. That's right, Shelob. Ha-ha! <laughs> well done. Your battle-hardenedness has served you well. Let's check out your skills. You have uh, moderate skills, actually. Six goblins and one... You've actually killed an ogre. No wonder you weren't afraid of them. All right, well, hopefully they don't immediately kill Ash, though, because he hasn't got a helmet on. That would be a horrible way for things to happen. All right, quickly ring the alarm bell, if you wouldn't mind, Cloaked Baths. Do so now. Right, there we go. Right, now we need everyone down here to attack these guys. Uh, no. What about here? No. No. Okay, they must all be here. Okay. Right, well, everyone attack... All of them, really. Let's give the attack order to all of them. And once again there. And finally you. Now what's the ogre like? Yeah, again, middling. Middling at best, in fact. You guys should easily be able to dispatch them. Good luck. Though some of you are quite slow. I'm a little worried about that. One goblin down. Two goblins down. How many more? Is that a third goblin down? Or is that just the uh, same method? No, there's the third one. Right, if you could all just uh, wail on the ogre for a little while. Uh, how much have we got in terms of... Are we making loads of armor plates now? Is that what we've got going? Let's have a look. How many armor plates? We've only got three armor plates. Okay, well that's probably going to take a while before that up enough for us to get a tower shield made. Which is a shame. I would very much like it if uh, they'd be able to get that faster. But one of the very nice things that we've got going at the moment is that because there are three people in the military, the result is that it's going to be very uncommon for there to be no training partner. Sometimes you'd see them um, just standing there on their own they're not training when they're doing that it isn't that when they're in the training grounds they're training it's when they're actually sparring with someone they're training so if there's only one person there they're getting no benefit whatsoever so uh, it's good to have three people at least because it really cuts down on the chances of them not being able to train right everyone back to work please now, have we got another mattress going? Have we got a, another bed made yet? No. No, doesn't look like. Damn it. Probably making some bandages, perhaps? Or are you maybe making a mattress? I would very much like it if you were making a mattress. I must confess. What are you building? It's taking a long time. There's loads of cotton bandages here. My lord. Full string. Okay, just loads of cotton bandages, it would appear. Well, hopefully, some things will get stored. 
Uh, in fact, I might want to... Yeah, I'm going to increase the priority of this again. To try and bring in all of the stuff from outside. So, uh, if you haven't got a job, you now do. Good luck. Hopefully, plenty of them will march out there and bring in... Uh, Whatever's lying about. Oh, that's fine, you know. I, I would actually prefer you to bring in the really expensive stuff that I bought. Ah, at least one person's got some sense about them. Right, well, what are you carrying? To me, what have you got in there? Uh, contents. Ah, good. All the tin ore, copper ore. Fantastic. You are very clever. Okay, what else have we got going? Right, well, that's finished. I would like actually a basalt door to put there. Uh, wrong workshop. Basalt the door, please. There we go. Now, I'm not sure if we've got enough to make anything else. We've got some tin bars there, but uh, I think we're going to have the rest of the stuff I need, but I think we need coal. Do we have any pine? I don't know. I don't think so, so why don't we uh, go ahead and just chop down these trees. Fell trees. We're not going to worry about taking the clippings, that's what our uh, grove is for. So make sure that we've got that. Right. If we can just get in those logs there, if we can get Shelab out, she'll make very short work of that, I imagine. And then we can bring all of that in. And as soon as that door's ready, we'll put that up there. Yes. Right, we should have the two statues made at the very least. Where are those? There we go. Two granite statues. We'll have them flanking the door as someone enters. Basically, these are like armor stands in my mind. They're not. They're statues. But uh, I like to think of them as armor stands. And the commander has two. But his spear set of armor, he's got like uh, his, his normal armor, and then he's got his uh, dressy armor. With all his medals and various bits and bobs. Right, are all of these fields planted? Yes, okay, finally. Right, let's put you guys back into your actual jobs. Dab and Majesta, get back to being a miner. Sorry about that, but we really needed the help. Alzen Dwarf, get, we, I think you were a carpenter. Yes, you were. You weren't a lumberjack. Pato was a lumberjack, though. Uh, where are you? Now, oh, Blessed Tiger, I actually don't remember what you were. Uh, it's probably whatever you've got the highest skill in. Construction, metal working. Ah, an artisan, perhaps? There we go. Yeah, I imagine it, yeah. By the looks of your skills, you're an artisan. Alright, thank you for the help, everyone. That was really, really great. Now, hopefully, we're filling up these troughs. What's the yak pasture like? 64 food? Okay, are we starting to fill up the... Oh, thank goodness. Those poor bloody alpacas. Don't ever do that to them again, please. That was really harsh of you. Now, we are continually just filling this with nothing. I don't approve of that. Not one bit, in fact. How are these? Awful. Oh my lord, they are awful. You get. Okay, well, we need to get some more crates. One, two. <laughs> oh my goodness. Six more crates. And I, I honestly, my brain is bleeding at the sight of how unorganized this all is. But uh, there's not much we can do right now. We really, really do need to get everything in, so. We'll have time to sort this all out later. In fact, I might actually even start thinking about that because I've been considering setting up large stockpile areas for like other uh, stone goods, like this one, things that can be put in a crate, but this one for like storage of any sort of furniture items. Same with this, have a large kind of uh, storage there. I've also been thinking of putting some living quarters over here just for our regular gnomes. I really, really think it's time, honestly. They deserve it. And, uh, yeah, I think... Let's have a look. Um, we have one stair going up there. One coming up here. 
Okay. Yeah, we can do this. How about... Ooh. We got badness? No, we do not. Thank goodness. That would not be a good time for me to have badness. Alright, what's over here now? Cotton. Lot and lot of cotton. Is that all that's there? Actually, it is all that's there. Wow, okay. Well, that actually makes a lot of things quite easy for me then. Fantastic. I hope you do go and go and get the cotton though. And I hope you do it with a wheelbarrow. Like that. Are you going for cotton? Or are you going for wood? Oh, well, okay. Damn it. Is someone going for the cotton, at least? No, no. Doesn't look like they want the cotton. But let's uh, go ahead and rebuild those doors. Now, let's have a think of how we're going to... I want, like, a proper staircase going up. Something around here. And since we've already got these walls there, I see no reason in not using them. The only problem with this is if I put this there, then I've got an overlap of the wall. So maybe I won't. I'll put it by here, perhaps. Um... Mm, I could do. And... Yeah. Okay. We'll have a... We can either have a 3x3 three three or a 3x4. Then a dauber there. Let's, have, let's make it a 3x4. A it doesn't need to have a regular shape. And... What we'll do is have stairs here, a pathway, stairs up another pathway, so on and so forth. Yeah, okay. Get to work. Let's replace some of these walls as well. Where are you? Replace wall. We'll put some block walls down there. Now, we're going to have this coming up along the side. I've kind of got an idea to make, have it become a tower further up. Like, actually turn into a tower moving up the side of uh, the mountain here. And uh, obviously bridging these two areas but the idea I've had for the oh it's summer awesome the idea I've had for the living quarters here is that we'll have just a balcony not literally coming out like this one but just open with pillars every so many tiles but without any railings between it then a, a nice walkway in there and then have the rooms further back I'll be getting rid of this stairs in favor of this one Though I could just as easily have other stairs on this side. So you've got um, sort of flanking stairways. That might also work out quite well. So you'd have a walkway here. A couple of living quarters literally coming off that walkway. But a long pa passageway moving backwards. With living quarters branching off it. It's not going to be the main place for the, all the living quarters. But it'll, it'll do a, for now. Um, we want to replace this wall with blocks. Let's get that going. And as for the floor, let's see. Place floor. It's regular basalt blocks for now, I think. With an engraved basalt block. Where are you? Place. No, 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 no. Place floor, please. And there we are. Right, we'll just put down... Actually, we'll use an engraved marble. There we go. We'll just have stairs going up. And it should be fairly easy to get that room going. And take the stairs up. Though the moment we go up, we're actually going to hit that water. <laughs> oh dear. And um, Actually, on that point, I should have... Uh... Damn, I should have thought of that. I shouldn't have built up. I should have dug the stairs up, I suppose. Um, well, let's see how that works. Uh, if I were to build a wall of dirt and then dig stairs up, would it release everything up there? Because I'm fairly certain you can't just build stairs underneath a ceiling because it doesn't take the ceiling away, I don't think. So we'll put the dirt there. Oh! Rick! You fantastic fellow, you! You've invented bunches of things. The rod, the axle, the gear, the spring, the mechanism base, and the gearbox. Wow, Rick. That is fantastic. We're not going to be able to do anything with any of those things yet. But, it's still fantastic. So we go to the machine shop. Here we are. 
all of these awesome things. Now, we still need you guys to uh, invent something that we can do with them. But that is the groundwork for the mechanisms. Well done indeed. Uh, I just realized I built that in the wrong place. But, never mind, we'll build another soil wall over here. And then the stairs can go there and we'll replace that with a block wall. But, wow, that's fantastic. Well done, Rick. Also, let's get some light in here as well. Where are you, wall torch? There we go. We'll just pop that over there. Yeah, we'll pop it over there. Okay. Actually, you know, having said that, we can stick it on the end. That way it'll uh, look symmetrical. Well, I'm fairly happy with the fact that we are finally starting to get someone with tinkering. But on that rather happy note, we're going to be wrapping things up. Finally, our tinkerer has started to bear fruit. In this episode, though, we've also gotten quite a lot of other things done. We've got a new member of our military squad, the Commander, no less. Though he doesn't yet have a bedroom, but we are fleshing that out. We've got the statues in there, I mean the armor stands. And we've also got the fields replanted, finally, so everyone can get back to their normal jobs. In addition, Alex Slayer has finally returned from Love Slave. No, he did not run off to try and join them. We are very happy with this. I would hate for them to become my enemy because they were trying to steal my gnomes and make them into well more love slaves more than likely i doubt they would become love masters honestly there's probably just a few at the top of that particular pyramid but with that i'm going to be ending this episode in the next one we will probably be trying to find things to do with all of the stuff that we have just researched but until we've actually researched some actual devices that will be made out of these things it's unlikely that we're going to be doing any large projects just yet but we have now laid the groundwork we've We've got the important stuff researched. But that really is it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you will be joining us for the next. But until then, do take care. <laughs>